Hey, that's the new starter, isn't it? Must be a new start in this section for sure. Want me to front him? Sure, grab them the first day. That's my philosophy. They know where they stand, then. OK, I'll front him at Smoker. Why wait for Smoker? What's wrong with now? You all right here? Yeah, I'm a mile in front. They're waiting on the truck down there. Right. Your hand there. Oh, thanks. Talk a little bugger, don't they? Yeah, I'll say. They ought to make them put handles on them. <laughs> Cox, Tony Cox, the uh, union delegate. One of them, anyway. Bob Fletcher over there. He's the other one. Uh, Tom Anderson. I uh, just started today. Pleased to meet you, Tom. I suppose they told you at the office you'd be expected to join once you started. Well, they mentioned it. So this is a 100% union shop. Everyone's a member here. Jeez, you blokes don't waste any time, do you? Anyway, nobody told me I had to join. No, 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 not forced to. That doesn't come into it. It's just that if you work here, you've got to be a member of the union that covers you. But you don't have to work here, do you? Listen, mate, I've only been in the place five minutes. Well, what's worrying you? Everyone's a member here. If you work here, you're expected to be in the union, right? Oh, jeez. G'day, George. G'day, mate. How are things down in dispatch? Fine. That new foreman not giving you any trouble? No, no worries. I think he knows where the last guy snatched it. <laughs> That's what I like, a quick learner. Now, I think I'll just take a walk down and have a quick word with him, let him know what's what around here. Anyhow, mate, you'll have to join, and that's that. I'll see you at morning tea. No, no more of those, mate. These ones go next. Oh, yeah, right. Doesn't waste any time, does he, that bloke? He's the new delegate, mate, on the ball. Or so he thinks. I'm not forced to join the union, he says, but I'm not forced to work here, either. <laughs> Gee. He's all right, it's just his manner. Not a bad bloke, really. Don't worry, he'll settle down. Anyway, I don't even know if I like the job yet. He's trying to railroad me. I mean, I'm not going to stay in the job if I don't like it. That's fair enough, but don't forget it's a bloody good job. Oh, yeah. Might be, mate. Might be. <coughs> I haven't even seen a payday yet, and I've been out of work for three bloody weeks. Anyway, I had to join the union in my first job. They made me pay up a year in advance, and I only stayed for six months. I don't see why I should have to fork out any more. Hey, but that's not this union, mate. Oh, no, mate, but I mean, what union is this? Anyway, I, I, I'm still financial in the other one. Oh, God, I don't know. Why don't the unions have some arrangements? Anyway, I know bugger all about this union, or any other union for that matter. What do they do for you anyway? I mean, what's it like? I thought that'd be why you came here, mate, for good pay and good conditions. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, well, that's partly right, yeah, but I mean, what about here on the job? It's good. Regular meetings, the minute you have a problem, it's fixed. Matter of fact, once the foreman knows you've got a problem and you're going to the union, <laughs> it's fixed. I don't know what you've got to worry about. We're all in it, and we wouldn't be if it was RS. Listen, do you want me to have a talk to Cox for you? No, no, she'll be right, mate. I'll probably do it myself. OK, suit yourself. Hey, where are you been? Well, I just down at a dispatch to take the uh, breaking strain of the new foreman and see how things were. Oh, he'll be all right. Bit of a big head. What about the new starter? Sign him up? Bit of a funny one, that one. What do you mean? Did he join up? No, not yet, but I'm not worried. He'll be all right. I'll work on him at Smoker. Well, I'd have thought you'd have joined him straight off. Hey, I hope he isn't one of those conscientious objectors or something. Don't know yet. Don't think so. I'll give you my word, son. You've got nothing to worry about. All you've got to do is fill out your card. Then all you're up for is your dues like the rest of us. And listen, if you're a bit hard up, I'll uh, lend you a few dollars to a payday if that'll help you. No, no, like I said, I'll think it over. 
Let me give you a word of advice, mate. I've been a member of this union since 1958, and I've been a delegate on and off since 1962, so I would know something. There's nothing to think over. You don't expect the other workers to carry it, do you? I mean, no one wants to be bludged on by their fellow workers, do they? And by the same token, no one should bludge on their fellow worker. Do you accept that? Are you calling me a bludger? No, don't get aerated. I'm just trying to tell you something for your own good and for the good of your fellow workers. If you won't accept your responsibilities, well, there'll only be trouble. And trouble's something we don't want around here. Is that some kind of a threat? No, mate. It's not a threat. It's facts. All I mean is the others might refuse to work with you. They might decide to walk off the job. And their jobs could be jeopardised. Do you think their wives and kids ought to be put in that position over one man? You might even find it hard to get a job anywhere else. Fair enough? I mean, if I put it to you, clear enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think I get the picture. Good. You look like a bloke who's got a bit of brains. George, where's your mate, the new bloke? He's finished. He's what? Finished? Who told him he was finished? He's only just started. They can't fire him that quick. No, well, I think he thought if he didn't join, he was finished. Join? The bloody union. And who was going to finish him? Well, I think he thought the union was. What? Oh, shit. Who told him that? I don't know who told him. I don't think anybody told him. What did he... Where, where, did he, where the hell is he? I wouldn't have a clue. But you just started this morning, didn't you? That's right. Well, that's a lot of paperwork for bugger all, isn't it? Hey, excuse me, mate. You mind if I have a word with you? Well, it's just that I didn't get to finish what I was saying this morning. Let's step outside and see, OK? Now what do you want? Just to talk, that's all. I mean, we can't have you finishing like this, mate. Mm -hmm. 